Hello, it's Jesse and we're back. We're going to be working on hooking up the boiler ignition now. So we have the, the brain box unit uh, mounted inside here. You've just seen that on a, a different video earlier. Or if not, go ahead and check that one out. But we mounted the, the brain box back behind here. So now we're going to talk about hooking it up and everything. So stay tuned here. We're working on... We're kind of putting in this boiler ignition system. So, um, first of all, what we've done so far is we didn't do much. We took off the little terminals that were on these coils and so we can use uh, round connectors because um, the round ones, they get a positive connection and then they're held down by a nut instead of a little spade that can fall out. I've had that happen a lot these, with my other, these my other Triumph. Pop yeah. in and then they just fall off from the seat and stuff. So we're going to use these little round connectors, which, you know, look like this and like that one instead. So anyway, so far we're just starting to wire this up a little bit. So we're going to walk through this. Okay. The white wire from the box will go under here, through here, and it will hook up to the wiring harness, white with a yellow stripe. And it'll get put together right there. That's so that when you turn on the key from the battery, it lights up the box or energizes the box. And then originally the coils each had their own white wire that came to them. But we only needed to use one, so we're going to tie off the other ones we're not using. Right. So, And one of these, one the thread wire will go onto one post. And then we got to have a jumper that will go from this one. If this if this is on negative, then this I think the red's got to be on the positive though. Yeah, red to positive, it's so, positive ground. So it goes over here like this. Okay, then we're gonna have to have a jumper that'll take us from here around from the negative to the positive, and then the black wire goes on the other end of it, and uh, and then. Then the points wires that are up here that go down into the, we're going to have to terminate them onto this wire here. Okay, yep. So they're up here. So black to white, black and white to black and white, and black and red, black and yellow to black and yellow. So these will just get terminated together. Then we just hook up. We just hook these up, wires up, and we'll, we'll be done. So the next time you see it, I'll walk through it all. Yeah. So, all right. Well, stay tuned here. That was just kind of overview. So we're going to get started here. Okay. So we back this bolt out here, and we put a ground there. And the other part of that red wire, red wire comes from the box that's down there. Yeah, it's coming from the box. Goes to the positive and coil. And it's coming to the positive coil on the right side. Now we need a jumper from here, from this negative, to the positive over here. Okay, so we'll work on making that. So, stay tuned here. Alright, so there's our jumper wire. Now we're hooking it up. Running from negative to positive. Of course, this wire ignition comes with nice instructions explaining how to do all the all this and stuff. The black so. wire coming out of the box is supposed to go to a negative terminal, and that's what we got right there. Yeah, right. We got the negative. What's, on this, what's left right there? On this coil right here, yep. and we have to run six volt coils because originally the coils were twelve volt. Because it's it's running these as like one coil, so it takes the two sixes and turns them into a twelve. Because it's. It's dual fire. It fires both plugs at the same time. The warrior does. In case you want to know. Yeah, I mean, I didn't realize that, I guess. So it runs both, fires both coils at the same time. Yep. There we go. I hook that one up. Last one. Should be 
one nut and washer. Yep, and there it is. Yeah, we gotta tighten all these up. We're not done up here yet. We gotta do a couple uh, connections over here yet. Yeah, none of these, but I think it's done. Nothing over else here. goes on to these, so this can all go. Tightened up. I could have made the wire a little shorter, but uh, doesn't matter. As long as it doesn't rub and hit something. We tuck that one out of the way. This is way better than spades. Yeah. My 77, they'd always like fall off and then be leave me stranded and be like, what happened? And then I got to know it better and realize that that's what was happening. And then, yeah, anyway. Lift the seat and <laughs> plug it back in and go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I think we'll finish up these connectors here and connections here and then we're ready to move on to the nose cone over there. So, time it. All right. Well, stay tuned here. All right, so we got those two wires I just pointed out hooked up now. And then we ran that white wire, like we were saying, hooked into there. It went underneath here, and we kind of hit it out of the way. But it was the white wire coming off of the box. We needed to tie into it here. I mentioned that earlier, but that's kind of how it all laid out. So um, just go over it again here. I mean, we had the box with the white red wire coming off. We needed to go to one terminal on a coil. Positive. A positive one. And then then we had it also grounded. Positive ground. Yep. So we got that wire going back here to this bolt. To the ground. Then we need to jump from negative to a positive across to the other coil. Now it's where this jumper wire came in. And then the black wire out of the box had to come to the negative terminal on a coil. So that's this one here. So that pretty much covers that. No. Yeah. yeah, now we'll go down to the nose cone there. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta run the wire. This wire here, we're gonna run it. Well, down the frame and down, into the yeah. point connector. Yep, down the frame and stuff. So we'll do that here in a minute. So stay tuned here. There it is. All right, so we're starting to run the wire through here. And then we're gonna run this. All the way up. Yeah, I'll let it put one of these down tubes here. Up and over here to hook to this. That'll be done. Over here. Yeah, on the other side. All right. All right, now we're up here crimping these wires up on the other end of that. On the other end of that, that connection for the ignition uh, piece there. Spreading out all the time. Keep that tight. There. Just that type of canker? Yeah, I guess.
<laughs> that's kind of like goofy or whatever. Yeah, we tried soldering on it and it didn't want to go, so. There we go. Got the wire in there, finally. All right, good connection. Okay. All right, so to set up this boiler ignition, we have to come into the primer here and and open this access window here to um, to find our timing mark here. There's a pointer down here. Okay. Yep. So that's our pointer. Now, you got you got two points on here. One's at top dead center and one's at bottom dead center. See, so this one that's right coming up here, right here, that's bottom dead. So here's top dead. And we want to be 38 degrees before top dead center. So you want to line up, ooh, this one. I want to line up this one right there. Oop, come here now. If it doesn't want to cooperate, it wants to roll past. Okay, I might have to hold that there. You might have to hold it there. So we're right on on that line with that pointer. So anyway, it's going to work on the other side over there. So this is where we got to start at. So stay tuned here. All right. So this is the, the component that gets tied onto the, um, yeah, go ahead. This is, this hole is the timing hole to find the little white dot. So you, you leave this loose till you can turn it wherever you need it to be. And it's got to line up in this hole. Static time. Later we'll time it with static strobe light. And so then, we have to install you, this piece. Yeah, and then you got you got your two screw holes here. Right there. Like that, and that. And then you gotta turn it till oh right there it's a dot. See? Right yeah, there. so right there's the dot. Let's if see. we're on the timing mark. Alright, so we stack timed it to that dot. <clears throat> And it'll be able to tighten us down. Yep, we're right on the timing mark. So. And the hole's there? Yeah. Right in it? Right in the center of it, yep. Okay, and that's what we want to do here now is we want to tighten this up. So it don't move. Okay. Then we'll come back and move it later. All right, cool. All right, with all that done, we got now we just put these little uh, pillars or whatever you want to call them, uh, bolt pieces in here that that allow you to tighten that down and then you, put the timing cover on. When you line up that white dot in the center of this hole, you want to make sure that the pillar thing is in the middle of this slot or really close to it because when we get it to start it we'll have to move it a little right and so you just so right i mean it's not you can't see the white dot no more because it has moved well, I but moved but uh it. it was there and now i gotta hook both of these up to these, to our, to these other wires we gotta kind of make a connection there with our yep. and we got we got fittings for that we've all got this uh time this, yeah that's all time is and it'll be uh, ready till we get ready to run the actually start the bike. So I mean, we're getting pretty close here on this. There's red wire in there too. All right. Well, uh, we'll hurt, we'll put these little connectors on here quick, and then we'll 
button this up and show you that in a second here. can't mix these up. This is yellow. Mix them up, they won't run right. <laughs> there it goes. We got black with white and black with yellow. It's been that way all the way through, so you gotta stick with it. There you go. And it's just slipped off. Oh, I thought I heard it. It, it, it did, kind of. Now, now uh, there's something I do to all boilers because the wires like to break from vibration. Okay. So, wire tie it up out of the way. Yeah. both of these at the same time. Get them lined up and I tighten them up and that stops. Well, it helps. It stabilized. Stops all that vibration. All right. Cool. Then. And this wire tie through that hole. You don't use that hole for timing. You use this one. Oh yeah, the one down there. Yep. And so it doesn't. It's it doesn't matter. So we cut that out of there. It's all done. We're done out of here. All right. We'll probably well, uh, until we start it. We could probably put the cover on, or we could leave it off until later. But maybe we'll just put it on. We'll put it on right now. Originals. Didn't have a cover. Oh, oh my yeah. god. Didn't? No. I don't remember that, I guess. Didn't have that either. Oh, imagine that, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the old original pictures that you show is uh, it's all of the other side. Mm. Uh, good enough. I had you in here before. All right, well, this pretty much finishes this up. We're gonna, all we have left here is to finish putting this cover on, and then, of course, we'll wire tie this uh, this uh, wire onto the one of them down tubes on the fender that, or the frame there, probably this right side one. Same as the other one. There. Makes sense. And then, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be nice to the top end on it. Yeah, then I guess that'll be next. Work on the top end. Then the tank and seat, and battery, and it should run. All right, we're about done here with this bike. So, anyway, stay tuned here. I could do it down here too. It might be better. Put another one on this wire. 
I'm going to redo it too. Let's see which one's which here. Just a flat wire. Get it to lay nice. Yeah. I'll just move it around to get it to lay right. Yeah. You got it. Or as good as I'm gonna get it. Too high because of that. Oil light is in the is in the way there. Hmm. It's good enough. It's twisted, but I can't help it. The only way I could change that is. All right, well, here we go. That's pretty much it, how you put the boiler all in there. Um, hope you enjoyed all this. Uh, I think we're ready to move on to a different segment now and probably uh, go from there. But this bike is pretty much almost done here, finally. Uh, we got a few things to button up here and there, but yeah. Anyway, stay tuned for uh, our next segment and stuff, and I hope you enjoyed all this. So see you again soon. All right, so we pretty much finished up the installation of the boiler ignition. Um, just want to make make mention there's a couple of different uh, couple different types of boiler ignitions. We got the the analog type, and then we have the digital. The digital we installed on on this bike. So this is the digital style box came in. Um, this actually has idle control in it, which actually keeps the bike from dying when it gets on idle. Um, also, when you run this digital type uh, boiler ignition systems you got to run resistor resistors uh, plugs or you got to run like uh, resistor type uh, spark plug ends and you know I probably prefer the the spark plug over the yeah like our like this one here we're gonna run our and three C's in this I probably prefer running the plugs because every time you replace the plug you get a new resistor unlike if you just switch out your your ends on your like your spark plug wires with the resistor type uh end you you don't get a new one and it can go bad and well when it goes bad down the road you need to find one of these and if you don't have one on you that's going to kind of be bad because you can fi probably find a resistor plug pretty much anywhere you go so <laughs> so anyway uh we're going to revisit this again later when we get the thing running because we got to check timing and all that stuff and and make sure it's all set right so we'll be going into that when we get the top end on and going from there so i hope you enjoyed everything here and uh this hopefully they cleared up a little bit on the on the um different types of ignitions i mean because points are great but we just kind of wanted to give a little bit of a an update on the system we probably could have made the points work but the digital is probably the better way to go or even just electronic ignition in general so See you again soon.